This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz. I hope you will be fine. In this channel, I prepared detailed lectures for chemical engineers and also for associate engineers. In this channel, you will find playlists of different engineering subjects which will help you in your study, in your interviews and also during your professional industrial life. So subscribe my channel for more videos. Hope you will be fine. This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz. In this video, I will present a lecture on a topic thermosiphon reboiler. So, in this topic, I will explain what is simply a reboiler, then, I will explain what is a thermosiphon reboiler, and finally, I will explain explain the types of thermosiphon reboiler which are horizontal and vertical thermosiphon reboiler so i will explain their working principles and also their construction what is reboiler a reboiler is an equipment which is installed with distillation column the purpose of reboiler is to receive the liquid from bottom of distillation column and then to convert them into vapors. So these vapors are then returned into distillation column again. So here reboiler play a role of heat exchanger which only uh, add heat into the receiving liquid. The name thermosiphon is made up of two words. The first one is thermo its mean heating and the second one is siphon which means transfer of a fluid from one place to another place but with the help of suction or emergent process in thermosiphon reboilers the incoming of liquid and outgoing of vapors is due to natural circulation the driving force behind this natural circulation is the density difference so that density difference create between the reboiler column bottom liquid and outlet vapor liquid mixture. There are two main types of thermosiphon reboilers. The first one is vertical and the second one is horizontal. So in coming slides, I will explain both with the help of their working principle and also with the help of their construction. Here you can see vertical thermosiphon reboilers and uh, this is a reboiler which is in vertical position. So according to its uh, construction and working, a vertical uh, thermosiphon reboiler consists of a single pass. It means all the liquid entered in all tubes at same time and also exits. So you know well that uh, other designs are available in which uh, two pass, uh, four passes are also available for different. According to fourth point, the tubes bundle are placed vertically. So in diagram, you can see this uh, shell has uh, tubes in vertical position. According to next point, which is fifth, the liquid which is to be boiled usually flows through the tube side. And the second liquid which provide heat to this liquid will flow in shell side. According to seventh point, heating fluid which flows in the shell of reboiler provide energy to the liquid which flows in tubes. So after getting energy, it vaporized and uh, then it turned into the distillation column. So finally, two phases develop in a distillation column uh, which uh, separate them. The second type is horizontal thermosiphon reboilers. Here you can see the tube bundle and the shell both are in horizontal condition. So in this reboiler the heating fluid and boiling fluid have uh, opposite flows in shell and tubes than vertical reboilers. So in this reboiler the boiling take place on the exterior of the tube surface as boiling liquid is flow in the shell. So after getting heat it will convert itself into vapor phase and then 
uh, that vapors will go into distillation column so uh, here in this type of boiler uh, we will use those uh, liquids which have high viscosity